This is my RI GP6. Um, I, I got it when I was 16 in go-karts and I've used it in F4 and of course testing the Formula Regional cars. Um, one thing to point out compared to the other helmet is this gap in the visor, right? It's quite big. I had to get this because they've changed the helmets now. Um, so this is not el eligible for Formula 3 and above anymore unfortunately so i'm gonna have to retire this now this will be the new one uh it's the formula one helmet it's the latest one latest homologation legal for formula three and above one i think norris and hamilton uses if i'm not mistaken but you can see like the the gap of the visor now it's tiny mm. and i haven't used it yet but it will be interesting to see how it does it definitely feels a lot lighter to, than this one uh, and it's also my first carbon um, but it's interesting to see how helmets are evolving recently. Um, there's, there's been a big jump um, in safety. And I, I think it's because of one master's crash. If you remember, they, they used to have those lips on the visor, um, kind of where the tariff goes here. It'd be a little carbon lip above it. But now they've just completely you know, moved the whole helmet down. So yeah, thicker material and a bit safer, hopefully. Um, but another complaint I've, been, complaint I've been having is... These aero bits, so the duck bill and the wing on the back, actually produces a bit of um, force at high speed. So they, they get helmet tilt from the front lip. Mm. Um, so I, I've taken it off a helmet um, to try and help my driver a bit more. Mm.